Hey everybody, this is David Driscoll with Body and Brain. This time I want to show you a set of exercises for your neck, your shoulders, your jaw. If you're sitting a lot using the computer like me, you might notice that you start to hunch over and you feel that tension in your neck and shoulders. It can go all the way up into your face. So I've got a couple easy things you can do to relax that. First one is these big muscles around the shoulders. Let's do a little shoulder roll. Shoulder roll is good. You can activate, like I said, the big muscles. It activates your breathing. <sighs> Be sure to breathe out. Now some of you might already feel a lot of heat or even some tension and discomfort, you know, pain coming from those muscles. So don't overdo it. This is more of a warm up. Feel the connection between the shoulders and the muscles in your neck and the back of your head or in your jaw because they are connected. Good. The other way, rotate. This is a great time to take some deep breaths. That's why I like practicing outside. You can feel the natural energy. You can, you know, use your surroundings to help your mind relax. Especially if your mind is racing, you've got a busy mind. Some movement is a great way to help yourself stop thinking. Just come back to the body. Okay, next one you can do shoulder bounce. So up and down, instead of rolling, up and down. This is more vibration. It wakes up some different areas in the shoulders and rib cage. <sighs> Try to maintain that posture so you're kind of bringing the shoulders back, opening the chest, elongating the spine. You might want to start moving your jaw here. This is a good time to see about these muscles. Are they tight? Are they feeling good? Oh yeah. Even around your nose, sometimes it gets really tight around the eyes. Okay, good. Next one, I'm gonna do a little jaw muscle tapping because this area gets so tight so easily. Oh. We really tend to hold, there's a lot of muscles, we tend to hold the tension in here. So I like to do tapping there, in front of the ear or below the ear, behind the jaw. And just kind of let your jaw relax, breathe. Maybe up a little higher, those muscles up above the ear. It's a good spot. You know, and while we're tapping, let's go all the way back to the back of the head. I get a lot of tension back here. How about you? Right at the base of the skull, especially if you're using your eyes a lot, sometimes you'll feel it right back there. Ooh, breathe out. When one arm gets tired, try the other one. Keep breathing. And then one more, how about right around the eyes? Do around the sinuses and nose. All right, now main event. All right, next circle. So first, lifting your chin up, kind of warm up stretch. Point that chin up and wiggle your jaw left and right. Try to feel elongating from the chest up to the jaw, up to the chin. Good. And then head dropping to the side, let your ear come down, keep those shoulders relaxed. The other arm can actually stretch out a little. And then feel from this ear all the way down to those fingertips. Breathe. And then staying there, keep your head bent to the side. Just try to turn your chin up towards the sky. You might feel that outside muscle. Breathe. Good, slowly come back. And don't overdo it with your neck. Other side, bending your head to the side, relax those shoulders, opposite arm. Breathe. And if you can, turn that chin up. Keep bending the head to the side. Good. 
and we turn. Last one, chin down, let's rotate. Keep your spine nice and tall, good posture. Even here, you want to relax your jaw the opposite way. Now you can go even slower than this, really take your time. If you find a spot that's really painful and stuck, just stay there and breathe. Allow it to relax rather than trying to stretch it out further. And then after you finish, it's a great time to just stay there, breathe a little. Notice the changes in your body and your mind, the way your vision works, the way that your ears are hearing everything. Because by loosening up the tension in your face, your neck and shoulders, you'll notice that the nervous system works differently. You feel different. And it's important to notice that. It'll make you want to do it again next time. So that's it for today. I'm David Driscoll with Body and Brain. Hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.